I've just recently started tinkering with the Raspberry Pi Pico W and I really like it. For the price, it's a really great little board with so much potential. One thing I struggled with early on was when I would need my Pico to connect to multiple different Wi-Fi networks when taking the same device to different locations. After some tinkering, I finally figured out a few different methods that you can use to load up multiple network configurations on your Pico and it will cycle through them until it can connect to one of your Wi-Fi networks. I'll be using CircuitPython 8 and the free Thani editor for this tutorial. And if you'd like to use any of the code that you see in this video, there will be a link in the description. For our first example, we are working in the Thani IDE and our Raspberry Pi Pico is plugged in and it is connected on COM10. And this first example, we have all of our possible SID and password networks that we're going to be connecting to in a list right here in the, the main Python file that we're going to be running. This is definitely the simplest way to get this going because all of your code is in one place, but it's pretty insecure. If you're planning on sharing this file with anyone else or posting it anywhere like GitHub or anywhere on the web and you don't want people to see your SID and password combinations, then this isn't the way to go. But if it's just for testing purposes or the simplest possible way, this is it. As you can see, I've got four possible networks here. Three of them are fake and this one here with Verizon is a, a little hotspot that I'm using. And each for each of these, it's going to cycle through and try to connect to that SID if it can see it with the password you provided. And the way this works, initially we have a flag called Wi-Fi Connect that we set to false. And it's going to cycle through your Wi-Fi networks. And if it's not already connected, it's going to try to connect to the next SID in the list. And if it's successful, it will tell you and then it'll wait two seconds so it can try to get the MAC address and the IP address and it's going to print those to the console. If it does not connect, it'll alert you to that and it will go to the next SID on the list. And if it can't connect to any of these, it's going to tell you that it failed to connect to all of your known provided Wi-Fi networks and it's going to go to sleep for a minute. You could probably add some more robust code here to have it reset your Pi after a minute or after five minutes and try again. But for the sake of simplicity, I just had it go to sleep. So let's run our code and see how it goes. As you can see, it's going, it's trying to connect one by one. And the first three should fail because they're not real SIDs. And eventually it does end up connecting to the wireless hotspot and it dutifully supplies its MAC address and its IP address. If you'd like to make things a little bit more secure, for our second example, we've moved the Wi-Fi credentials out of our main Python file and just copied and pasted them into another separate file and we've named this secret.py and we've already saved that to our Raspberry Pi Pico and in so doing now we can import secret and we've just changed our code a little bit down here instead of saying Wi-Fi networks.items we're pulling it from the secret file so it's secret.wifi networks.items other than that Everything else is the same. It's going to cycle through any of the networks that we put in this secret file and it's going to attempt to connect. And once it connects, it's going to tell us the MAC address and the IP address. So again, if the first example made you a little bit uneasy about putting all of your passwords in the main Python file, this example lets you break those out and put them in a separate secret Python file. And we've got one more example to show you. A lot of the tutorials I've seen on connecting your Pico to the internet 
have you break out your SID and password in a settings.toml file. And usually it looks something like this. You have a circuitpy underscore Wi-Fi underscore SID that you name with your SID and you have a password that you name with your password. And then, then you can reference that in your, your Python code instead of putting your credentials right in the code. What I've done is I've added another variable called network count and this number is going to be set to however many networks we'd like our Raspberry Pi to cycle through and then I just added a 1 to all of the SIDs and passwords a 2 and a 3. So now in our code the network pool is going to get that count so it knows how many possible Wi-Fi networks we're looking for and similar to our other examples it's going to loop through it's going to start with the first one and it's going to loop through as many networks as you've told it to look for and it's going to attempt to connect with the credentials from that settings.toml file and again if it's successful it's going to set a flag to true so it can stop trying the next network and it's going to tell you the MAC and the IP address so just to prove that this one works, let's run this example. Again, it fails to connect to network one and two because they don't exist. And when it gets to network three, the hotspot is successfully connects and we see the MAC address and the IP address. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so other people can find it. All of the code we discussed is freely available via the link in the description. Feel free to use it as a jumping off point for your next Raspberry Pi Pico project. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.